Greetings my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another gadget test. Today I'm going to be testing this. And this is egglets. Many of you have requested this after I did my eggies video. I have tested many, many egg gadgets. And if you've missed those, I will direct you to the playlist, which includes the eggy, which is quite similar, and the roly, which makes a tube of egg that extrudes itself. That one was pretty amazing. So what egglets claims to do is that it hard boils eggs without the shell, crack boil, pop, perfect hard boiled eggs every time. So it doesn't explicitly say, but it does imply that the egg will come out of the egglet easier and faster than it would out of a shell meaning the shell that the egg comes in. So what I'm gonna do is compare the egglet versus a regular egg in its shell, see which one peels easier, see if there's a difference in texture, see if there's a difference in cooking time, see if there's a difference in taste, because we are boiling an egg in silicone and plastic versus you know the calcium shell that the chicken you know, pops out of her bum for us. So here's the egglets. I purchased this at Target, and I believe I paid $9.99 for this. And this container contains four egglets. I like how they kind of package it like a carton of eggs. Two of these I've already washed, but I just wanna show you the packaging. It also comes with a little booklet, which I've read already. And it says very, very clearly, inside the packaging as well, right here, and very clearly on the cookbook, use with oil or cooking spray, which says to me you must use cooking spray or oil, <laughs> otherwise the eggs won't release. So now let me explain the construction of the egglets. So it has this plastic top that unscrews, and this is actually just one entire piece. The egglets was, I believe, three pieces, which is really actually kind of a pain. I have noticed that the opening of this is much wider than the eggy, which will make cracking the egg easier. And there is a fill line that say that you're not supposed to pass. And the material of this is different from the eggs as well. This is a silicone kind of flexible material. I like the fact that it's translucent so you can kind of see if the egg is cooked. And this just screws right on top. So the first thing we're supposed to do is liberally oil the inside of this. The first technique they say is to add about a half teaspoon of oil in the cup and roll it all the way around and actually dump it out in your sink, it says. But I think what I'm gonna do is just use this to oil my second eggy. Is this saving me time? I don't know. I would already be placing my eggs in boiling water at this point, but we're gonna test this. Okay, dump this excess oil out. Now I've got four eggs here. All have been sitting on my counter for about an hour to get them kind of up to room temperature. And now I'm going to crack one into here. Okay, so that went in there very easily. Twist the lid on and that is done. So I was thinking about this and I think the one perhaps advantage the egglets have to just a regular egg is the fact that you could make an omelet or like a flavored type egg. This book includes a recipe section, although most of the recipes are for just hard boiled egg derivations like the deviled egg, different kinds of deviled eggs, making an egg salad, which is just boiling an egg. But there is one here for a Mexican style omelet. To that egg, I'm supposed to add a teaspoon of salsa. This is homemade salsa. Some cheese, half a teaspoon, and some parsley. Salt, pepper. Mix that up. Pour that into the egglet. Top it up. Now that's ready to cook. These are estimated cooking times, but for hard boiled egg, it should be 13 to 16 minutes. So for comparison, I'm gonna also boil the eggs in their shell. And this is my technique for getting perfectly boiled eggs that peel really easily. I bring my water up to a rolling boil. I let my eggs sit at room temperature for a little while so they're not so cold and they're less likely to crack when I place them into the boiling water. You can also place your eggs directly out of the fridge into a bowl of warm water and that kind of tempers it a bit so they're less likely to crack when you put them in the rolling boiling water. So the reasoning of putting the eggs into the boiling water is that it causes the egg to immediately cook and therefore contract and pull itself away from the inside walls of the eggs, thus making it very easy to peel once they're finished cooking. 
So it's always worked for me. It's a technique I love. So let's compare it with the egglet. It's really steamy now. I'm gonna place in the egglets and my regular eggs. One, I'll do two, two. And I'm gonna do 10 minutes for my hard boiled eggs and 14 minutes for the egglets because that's what was instructed, a total of 14 minutes. Alrighty, see you back in 14 minutes. <laughs> so we're coming on 35 seconds for 14 minutes. I've already taken my regular eggs out. I took those out at 10 minutes. And while my egglets have been cooking, I noticed that this one has gone rogue. I've tried to straighten it, but it doesn't want to. So that is the omelet egg. And it has just, that, yeah, just wants to do that. It wants to be prone in the hot tub. It wants to get the whole body effect. So I'm not sure how that's going to affect its releasing ability if it's gone into the cap. I don't know. All right, that is my timer for 14 minutes. Off. And let's retrieve these. This one I can just pull out by the handle. This is the regular hard-boiled egg. And that does look hard-boiled. Ooh, looks like I got a little shell in there. <laughs> Whoops. And here is the omelet. And that looks cooked. At least it looks solid. So pop that in there. So while the egglets are cooling, I'm gonna go ahead and peel my regular eggs because they've been sitting there for about four minutes and they're totally ready. So regular egg, tap, tap, tap. Another thing I like to do is actually roll the egg onto a surface. That gets it really broken up. I usually like to do this under some water in the sink to get the eggshell off, but since I don't have that, I'll just do that over this bowl of water. So you just peel the egg like that. And look how easily that peels. And this is a very fresh egg. These are eggs from my own chickens. And this is peeling beautifully. Look at that. Gorgeous, perfect egg. La 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 la. Took me all of five seconds to peel. Let me show you that again. So egg. Cold water, take it out. Tap it on the counter. Give it a good roll. Water, you just peel it. Or don't, if you don't have water. Look at that, just coming right out, just jumping out. And the trick is to put your egg in boiling water immediately. There's my egg, beautiful. Get the membrane off. No nicks, no nothing. So twist this off. There is the egg. And let's just see if it'll pop out by just squeezing the silicone. And when I did that with the eggies, it did not work. There is a bit of a suction, I think, that happens in a vacuum. But I'm hoping that this, because this material is squishy, I was hoping that it would just kind of pop out. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing the lack of? Okay. Oh, there. It popped out. Look at that. There is some residual egg on the inside, but not as much as in my other test. That is an interesting shaped egg. Ooh, I did get some eggshell in there. Whoops. And by the looks of it, that might be a little bit gelled in the middle. So 14 minutes doesn't look like it was quite long enough. Maybe more like 16 minutes. Okay, so now I have this to wash, <laughs> but not so much residue, but didn't come out entirely cleanly as well. And it is oily. Okay, so let's cut this open. Ooh, very interesting looking egg. <laughs> the yolk is not round. It's almost shaped like a paisley, paisley shaped egg yolk. Okay, and it's fully hard boiled here and it's a little bit undercooked as does the white, which is actually fine by me. I liked my hard boiled eggs slightly underdone. I like it when the yolk is a little bit translucent like that, a little bit more creamy. Very oddly shaped egg. <laughs> Let's compare it with our hard boiled egg in the shell. And there is my hard boiled egg. That looks to be more cooked and it is completely cooked. Let's compare the texture of the whites. Now this looks like it's completely cooked really evenly. While this one feels very soft and jellied on this end, this side feels fine. It's a little bit thinner here. Salt and pepper. Let's try the egglets first. Here we go, with the Daki Moss. And that's fun. The whites are not too rubbery. They're cooked just fine. Tastes like a great egg. Let's try this side that's a little bit less cooked. Mm. Mm. 
That's actually a really tasty egg, but it came from my chickens. I find that homegrown eggs taste a little bit sweeter to me. The texture on this side is fine too. It's a little softer and jellied. I actually don't mind that at all. I like my eggs, like I said, a little undercooked anyways, at least my hard boiled eggs. And yeah, that's fine. The shape is just very odd. It's just very unnatural looking. The outside is not smooth. Even though it had that silicone layer, it's kind of pocked. And it just doesn't make for a very beautiful presentation unless you're serving alien eggs. <laughs> all right, let's just try our hard boiled egg. Mm -hmm. Beautifully cooked egg, delicious, sweet flavor. The proportion of yolk to white is much more even in this egg than the other egg. Now let's try the omelet version. And I'm hoping this one squishes out easily. Whoa. Okay, I squeezed that one. Okay, this one's full of water. Oh no, look at that. That's gross. Okay. Maybe this has to do with the fact that this was lying on its side, but this is filled with oily water. That's gross. And that's my egg. Oh my gosh. I don't think I have to worry about this one releasing from the sides of the egglet. There. Wow. That is very unappetizing. The surface is very wrinkled. It almost looks like a lemon that's been through some sort of unflattering aging process, I would say. So as we did with the other eggs, let's cut this one in half. Oh, interesting. So it looks like the yolk and the white separated a bit and all of our toppings separated as well. So initially it looked like it sat upright in the water because all the toppings kind of floated to the top. This is of course upside down because we had it in the egg like this. All right, let's give this a taste. I can already feel that it's very, very rubbery in texture, very bouncy. Wow. Mm. Yeah, I don't really care for the texture at all. The egg itself is porous and spongy, and because water got in there, it tastes like a sponge that's absorbed a lot of water, flavored water. Yeah, that's not very good at all. Perhaps if it hadn't taken on water, it would have tasted better. Mm. It's really difficult to say. The texture of the egg itself is just very odd. Not quite scrambled eggs, not hard boiled, not like any egg preparation that I've ever had and not one that I particularly care for. So final thoughts on the egglet versus the egg. Once again, the egg reigns supreme as long as you have the correct technique. There is nothing wrong with cooking a beautiful egg in its beautifully natural shell. This is just superfluous. Not only are you spending money on purchasing this thing, you're adding additional oil to it. You have to wash it before and after, and it takes more time. So there really isn't any benefit to this at all compared to this. And it says also not to store your cooked egg in this material. While when you cook a hard boiled egg, that's one of the beauties of it. You've got the shell and it's portable and you put it in your lunchbox and it's great. I love hard boiling these in advance and then the next morning giving one to my son, I pour some boiling water on top of it, let it sit in there for about a minute to warm it back up and then he's got a warm hard boiled egg for breakfast. Love it, complete protein, portable, charming, what's not to love. Right here, right here. Everything is right here. You don't need this. <laughs> Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoy that little gadget review. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know if there are any other gadgets you'd like to see me test out and try. If you've missed my other gadgets that I've tested, including old vintage ones, be sure to check out the playlist. There are some really funny ones as well, some follies that include flying eggs and stuff. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Subscribe, like this video, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye! <laughs>